slew of other solutions. I'm here with Mark Bauhaus, the Executive Vice President of Service Layer Technologies, which basically means you oversee the whole thing here, and Service Layer Technologies is, is, is geek speak for, you manage all the data moving around the right. networks out there for some of the largest carriers and enterprises out in the market. Yeah, it's the security, the quality of service inside <laughs> the network. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So tell us, first of all, what's going on here today at the Juniper now? We're continuing the conversation. We're going to have in-depth coverage and in more detail with some analysts and some of your customers. But first, talk about what are you announcing here today? So we have three announcements today. One is the Junos Pulse Mobile Security Suite, which is the first time across all devices you've got a full set of security for the endpoint um, that is uh, built for the new network. We're announcing a global threat center where we do research and development about what's happening in mobile security and, and how to then incorporate that back into our products. And then we're announcing some new research that just came out today, uh, around 4,500 4, uh, mobile users globally and what their use patterns are, what their concerns are from a security perspective. So I read the research. Um, I think it's kind of no-brainer stuff for us, us guys in the industry, but for the folks out there, the research basically says people are using mobile phones for everything, right? They are. So, uh, you know, Tim O'Reilly, we talked a couple weeks last week at New York uh, at the Hadoop conference where he said IBM's quote of, you know, everyone's going to have five PCs. They got it wrong. It's yeah. one. Yeah. The, it's the mobile device. And now we're on three, four devices for each of us. <laughs> They're all different vendors. They're used for different things in the enterprise and consumer uh, usage. And, and so the report also talked about, Mark, about like you know, people really don't care anymore about what used to be like standard issue phones for the work. They'd buy a home PC. Now they have, you know, iPhones certainly define what mobile is. So people really are indifferent around access. They are, and, and the killer app here around mobile, we know, is the internet in the palm of your hand. And, and why wouldn't it be logical then to not only use that for, for entertainment, edutainment, social networking, but also for work? It's kind of a natural extension. So the threat center, I get that's kind of like a McAfee kind of thing where you're monitoring everything and well, virus we're, detection. We're focused specifically on mobile threats and what's happening in the mobile device category um, with people who are doing work, who are doing uh, personal uh, applications both and have a lot of secure data. Nine out of ten people are having some kind of secure data. It may be passwords, it may be credit cards, it may be social security numbers on their phones and they're not securing the phone is what the research shows. How are you getting access to that data? I mean, what are you actually monitoring? Is it carrier specific? Is it network specific? So in the Global Threat Center, we're actually looking at what's happening on the network. We're working with our users, uh, with our customers, with what we're seeing from other vendors and research institutions as well, and doing our own primary research on what are the viruses, what kind of spyware, what are people doing on different platforms, BlackBerry versus iOS versus Android versus Symbian and so on, uh, to really understand w what the threats are, what's emerging. We've seen a two and a half times increase in the number of threats from 2009 to 2010 in this space. So it's, it's fast moving, unfortunately, for the bad guys. So it's a well. SWAT team, basically, out there who's looking at everything that moves and trying to figure out what patterns are black hat. Looking at the threats, exactly, and looking at how to respond, and then building that into our products as well. Okay, so let's talk about the, the, um, the software you guys are announcing. So to me, that's a big deal, obviously mobile. Everyone right now in the marketplace is looking at mobile. You look about every venture capital is investing in anything that moves that's an app company, infrastructure company. So you have that infrastructure, software, and kind of end user mm -hmm. uh, perspectives out there from growth. Obviously Apple, Google are going crazy, Android versus the iPhone. Um, so it's everywhere. And there are some problems, and there's, there's, there's really no encryption on, the, on, on phone services mm -hmm, these mm -hmm. days. And, and uh, people know about MobileMe, for example, with you, know, you lose your phone, you can turn it off. What are you guys doing specifically in that announcement for mobility? Talk about the software announcement and what it means for folks out there. So the, the killer app that we all know is the internet in the palm of your hand. What, what we are missing, the killer app that's missing, is the peace of mind to know that that phone is safe, that you can secure it, that you can scan it when you think there might be a problem, that you can authenticate and secure into your enterprise or your your uh, secure data, uh, all that stuff's missing. And, and our competition has come out with point products that may be a firewall on one platform or maybe some anti-spyware. Tied to devices? On a specific device on one OS. And what we're offering here is the broadest coverage of all the major devices in the smartphone market. Um, with the deepest... Which devices? So think about it, anything based on Symbian. All devices? All devices based on Symbian going forward, uh, looking at Windows Mobile, looking at uh, BlackBerry, looking at Android, looking at iOS from Apple and the iPhone. So what does the software do? So specifically, it's a whole suite of mobile uh, security applications. So there's firewall and, and uh, antivirus. So you think about the malware that can come into a phone environment that may be born by SMS, uh, by messaging, uh, maybe uh, spying on your activity, uh, grabbing information off of your phone. 
uh, literally inserting code and maliciously making phone calls for you without your knowledge, uh, grabbing your photographs and data. Um, we stop all of that with a set of antivirus, with a firewall, with um, uh, the ability to locate and lock and wipe a device if you happen to lose it, uh, with the ability to manage what's happening on the phone as well. For, for parents in the consumer market, for example, um, we, we have our kids, we think we're buying our phone for safety and security, and yet what's happening on the phone? Well, a whole lot of the internet is coming in at them uncontrolled and unfiltered. I mean, mobile, the holy grail for mobile is liberation, freedom, walk around, be mobile, but also security. Most people don't really look at mobility as a secure issue because they don't really think. I mean, smartphones are new, right? So, relatively yeah. speaking. So, I mean, can someone take over your phone? That just doesn't seem like that was the case a few years ago. What kinds of things are you seeing that are uh, security, security problems? So there's a whole, whole range of things. We were just talking about the, the parental side of being able to filter content for you know a, a given set of people, kids, mm -hmm. right, who are vulnerable here. There's losing your phone, misplacing your phone. Over two million phones were lost in the U.S. last year or stolen. That's a lot. And if you're one of those people that have your life, your office in the pocket, your internet in the palm, and you've lost all that data, that's a big problem. You don't know where it's gone. Well, that's the thing. Your slogan here is defend your mobile life, which is kind of the slogan for your event here, which really is, is a, a wonderful slogan because really ultimately for the first time, mobility is our life, right? I mean, it ha you have you know a data footprint, a digital DNA now. Everything you do on your mobile device is recording. Text messages where you maybe check in, Facebook statuses, geolocation. These are really intimate data of a person's life. So what you want is something that's it's like your wallet. Be, it is it's like your wallet, and you've got a couple of them because you've got a couple of different devices. You may have a tablet from here, a notebook from there, and a, and a, a smartphone phone from somebody else. You want to have the firewall, antivirus, anti-spyware, keep the malware off, and be able to manage the device, find it, and, and do something about it if it is indeed stolen or lost. That's what the wow. Mono Security Suite does. puts that all together across uh, across all the platforms. What I find interesting about this announcement today is that it, it kind of spans two worlds, right? The enterprise. I mean, everyone you could have been doing branch office security, home office. Security security, you know, these diverse access methods, you know, from home, different carriers for, for years. But also on the consumer side, you have, you know, British Telecom, AT&T, here with you guys on the podium and IBM. There's a consumer angle, and the consumer angle is, is that they're still going to access their work stuff, but yet be at home and everywhere. Uh, is it more of a consumer opportunity or enterprise or both? And what kinds of services would you expect the carriers and the search price to, to develop out of this. So, so today's announcement builds off of strength that we've already had in the mobile space. We secure almost all smartphone traffic uh, in the United States, for example, and much of it around the world through the security services we have at massive scale back in the cloud. So the AT&Ts and Verizons and Sprints of the world. Uh, we have over 25 million desktops where people are accessing, as you said, from their branch, from their home, uh, from remote access and security in the enterprise space. But what this announcement does is put, put those endpoints and, and endpoint security together in an offering that's appropriate for the enterprise, uh, for people to be able to control policy and devices as people bring their own device to work. Not the company issued one, but their own device to work. It helps service providers monetize by allowing them to create a mobile security service that is fully managed across all devices. Not one of them, not just firewall here, managed device there. It's it's the whole suite across all Embedded services, so the users don't have to do much, right? So we're talking about a user experience issue for them, right? Really simple. Yeah, just secure my phone um, and perhaps go to the console and if I've lost it, go find that thing and, and wipe it if I really have lost it. It's so funny, in the market today, people are talking about iPhone, Android this, and AT&T, Verizon getting the iPhone, iPad, all this stuff, but really people don't understand is that there's a lot of stuff that goes on under the covers, and when we were in Barcelona, I uh, sat down with Pradeep, uh, the found, your founder mm -hmm. at Juniper, and he talked about the, uh, the, the, the tsunami of apps that are hitting and how disruptive that is to some of these service providers, um, and we blogged about it on Silicon Angle called the Mobile Innovation Cycle. We have data combined with application tsunami and it's causing all these disruptions that, quite frankly, you can call it an over the top, you can call it um, you know, an, a third party network of applications, and the providers have been kind of caught off guard, if you will, but now we're trying to catch up. How does this announcement play into those kinds of new services that are coming out, these new cool apps, whether it's access to an enterprise or games or play apps? So a couple things, we've got an enormous, literally billions of devices here, and if we can better secure them, we can pre uh, prevent a lot of the malware and viruses that travel through the internet. So so literally there's a protection in the mass and the, kind of in the large for consumers here. Um, but also a lot of these applications uh, go access personal data without your knowledge. So if you can lock that down, if you can understand what's, what code, for example, might have been changed, where somebody may have tampered with your SIM card inside the phone, these are all big value adds for the end user and making sure that their own, whatever applications are down 
downloading, that they're able to do that in a, in a, to, to use those applications in a safe way. We're kind of in a wild west environment, aren't we? I mean, privacy, I mean, you're hearing the Wall Street Journal is doing these big stories about privacy. Users are concerned about privacy, and, and obviously parents are concerned about their children. All, all my kids, all four of them have phones. Um, how does this handle the privacy issue and the privacy angle? What's your angle on privacy? And will the network drive the innovation there? Is it going to come from regulation? So we all need to have more control over our own privacy and what's going on on those phones. So the first thing is to be able to secure it, make sure bad stuff isn't coming in, and the next thing is to make sure the bad stuff isn't going out. And what we're offering now is, for the first time, the breadth and depth of security across all devices. So your kids, whether they choose an Android phone or an iOS phone, they've got that. You download everything safety. that moves. I mean, you know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and so you're, you might, for example, want to make sure that that that. Uh, so one out of five kids is sexting right now. Terrifying for those yeah. of us who thought we bought the phone for, yeah, for yeah. personal safety and for the, the to defend and protect our kids. Well, now we have the ability to go prevent that. And we can go make sure that appropriate content is happening on the phone. We can monitor what's happening in an appropriate way and have a social contract with our kids to make sure that, that they have indeed yeah, yeah. A, a tool that really helps them from a privacy and a safety perspective. Well, I mean... I'll play devil's advocate on that point. I mean, obviously you have black hat, white hat, you have essentially surveillance technology. Um, yeah. I mean, networking is surveillance, if you think about it, right? So, so, okay, the threat center you guys are building. So is that a counterbalance to some of these concerns? Obviously, you know, we've talked about the dark cloud in, in previous mm -hmm. uh, uh, broadcasts. Uh, you know, there's a dark cloud out there. There are bad guys. And it's always been an arms race, uh, white guy, you know, white hat, black hat. We want to enable the good, the good guys, obviously. Prevent the spyware, prevent the, the uh, insertion of malware, prevent the viruses that are starting to explode, just like they did in PCs about 10 years ago, starting to happen on the, on the mobile market. Um, and enable the good kind of connections. So eight out of 10 of us uh, who have phones try to go and do go connect to our enterprises without the IT department knowing. So we're actually connecting into the enterprise through backdoors, through email and other things. Yeah, dangerous. Very dangerous without any kind of safety protection, passwords, uh, cleansing of the end device, any of that. We're now enabling that safe way to be able to go do uh, mobile computing. Interesting. Juno, Juno's Pulse is defending your digital life. We're here at the event exclusively. Mark Bauhaus, Executive Vice President, his event. Uh, final word, mobile's hot. VCs are investing, Google, Apple are fighting it out, carriers want new services. What's your uh, view of the next five years in mobile? You know, it, it's going to continue to explode. This killer app of edutainment and the internet in your palm is great. What we want to add to that is the peace of mind to go with it. So the peace of mind to know that your, your device is safe, that it's been protected, uh, that you're able to manage it in an appropriate way, and that you take a little more control over your mobile life while you're defending it. We're here inside the Cube exclusively at the Juniper Van, continuing the conversation around security and uh, freedom. I mean, mobile's great, defines your life, it is your life, you lose it, <laughs> you're done, you don't want other people getting hold of it, and just you want to manage it more effectively and securely. Thanks so much, Mark. Thank you. Appreciate it.